What's up, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions, and welcome to your Saturday live stream. It is a beautiful day here in the state of Kentucky, and I hope everybody is having a beautiful, beautiful day out there. And that is not a Final Fantasy VII book. That is the new Bring Arts uh, Tifa figure that just came out, I think, a couple of months ago. Uh, they're doing the entire squad and classic Final Fantasy VII, not Rebirth, too. There's an echo? Why is there an echo? Interesting. Hold on a second. Let me make sure my audio is right. Nope, it's not. Let's try this. Now, let's try this. How is everybody doing? Can everybody hear me with no echo this time? I'm doing okay. I'm doing great. I'm really, really busy, but that's okay. Oh, you had... <laughs> was like, uh, Well, no, 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 no. I, I think something was going on, though, because I saw that my microphone wasn't plugged in, so weird. Um, I am feeling a lot better. My eye is healed, and... We're getting ready to take the kids next week to D.C., and then we have uh, people that are staying here on our house because we're having our basement worked on. So I kind of have to roll with the punches when it comes to filming and editing. Sometimes I have to film at 5 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I have to film at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, I am rolling solo today because Melanie is getting ready to pack and things like that. So you'll have me today all to myself. So I hope that's okay. What do I know about Bernie Wrights and Frankenstein? Is that is that a book that ever will get a reprint? Is that what your next part is? Because I hope so, because I also missed out on it too. Omar, do you ever want to just say to me my X-Men tease? No, not really. <laughs> About those DC editions, they just keep coming. Well, the L device catalog just closed, and we, as promised, are going to go over that tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon. Um, so if you want to join us for that, I'm trying to get together with some folks, and we're going to talk about it here live. If you want to look at the whole catalog, and then we can speculate what will probably go up in price, what will probably be added, what... Hopefully it will come out. So yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I don't know. No no word of a reprint of that. I would love a reprint because I myself am missing that book of the oversized one too. Do you know anything about the Armageddon Deluxe? Is it replacing volume 17 and 18 on a, of the OHC? I really think they're going to finish out the OHCs. Uh, they have been great about that. And the, the Armageddon game isn't complete because there's also the prelude to it and that stuff has never been collected in the deluxe edition so uh i did i saw that uh, you know uh, a few more books were added so like i said we'll talk over uh, about the whole catalog tomorrow and arkham asylum is one that i never picked up because i you know i played the first game so i'll probably get it for the channel to do an overview of it going off this would you say Mark Wade is one of your favorite comic authors and you consider him one of the greatest of all times? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I noticed a trend in your videos where you, when talking about Mark Wade, wrote, you constantly say, this is my favorite or this is one of my favorites. Oh, 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 yeah. I did a video, oh gosh, it's a little outdated. That's okay. Four or five years ago about my favorite creators, my favorite comic book writers and my favorite comic book artists, pencilers, not inkers. And Mark Wade was on that list. Mark Way, there's a few people, like a handful of people that I think are just walking comic book encyclopedias. Uh, one of them being Mark Wade, Kurt Busiek, uh, Peter David, and to an extent, Fabian ECS is getting up there too. That just know everything there is to know about these characters and how to write them. And they just go into a book like they've been writing the whole thing, the like for the whole time. Um, but yes, I am a big fan of Wade. Morning, Omar. Morning, Mentees. Has the new Avengers Omnibus Volume reprint by Bendis and Guardians Volume 2 been delayed? I don't think so. I think they're still scheduled to come out on the dates that I announced. Kev, you give your honest review of Star Wars Empire Omni Volume 2. Whoa! Dude, um, Empire Omni 1 was one of the best uh, Darth Vader books. Uh, 2 has some really good stories. One freak. Anytime you have John Ostrander in there, oh, who's the other guy that was writing all those books at the time? 
those are solid. Honestly, the one that I wasn't a fan of was the Rice of the Sith. That to me is one of the uh, one of the worst. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I can say it. it's one of the worst Star Wars Omnis. I wasn't a fan of. But then again, I also don't own the droids and Ewoks omnibus, so you know it might have been that might have been worse. Well, the Superman Triangle years just collect the trades. Are they collecting everything for us completists? Well, there are no trades of the Triangle years. Remember, they just did like what was it? The, the Crisis in Kryptonite. They saved Luther's brain. Uh, if you're talking about stories like that, like Panic in the Sky or Time and Time Again, yeah, there are no complete like trade paperbacks unless you're thinking of the DC's best, which they've added a lot of that too, which we'll be going over, over over with tomorrow. Hey Omar, do you think DC will do a reprint of Absolute Haunted Night and Absolute Dark Victory? I think so, considering both of those have only had one printing. Jake, thank you so much for the super chat, my brother. Hey, Omar, longtime viewer, first time live commenter. Quick question: Do you know what the highest selling omnibus is? And do you think DC, either DC Marvel crossover, will outsell it even at that price? Um, let's see. Highest selling omnibus for Marvel Comics is the Romnibus Volume One. For DC Comics, it was the Batman by Snyder and Capullo Omnibus. Do I think DC versus Marvel will outsell it? Ooh, that's a hard one. I want to say yes. And I'm and I'm curious which one though the classic which I you know that's more that's the one I gravitate towards or the amalgam which you know a lot of the kids from the '90s gravitate towards that's the big question I think it will I think you know what I think it will definitely be top top three best selling omnis for DC comics because keep in mind this is a DC uh, it, it's a DC book it's not a Marvel book. Even though it says DC versus Marvel, DC is handling everything. Kind of like they did the um, Batman Ninja Turtles omnibus. DC was the one behind that and not IDW. But thank you for the super chat. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Richard. I'm doing good, man. Good morning, Omar. Going forward, do you think you'll be doing DC's finest announcements type of videos? I have been reaching out to my contacts over there and I've not heard anything. But yeah, if you all want me to. I mean, I'll, as soon as I find out, I can put something together, of course. I had off work yesterday, so it felt like Saturday all day. So I'm glad to have this live stream to get my internal calendar black and back in check. You're welcome. Mark Wade also took over Captain America after Mark Grunewald, who was the curator of Marvel continuity at the time. Yeah, Grunewald was. Hey, Axel, how are you, buddy? Hello, Omar. Do you think we'll rebrand Death of Superman as one of the Triangle Year Omnis? You know, whenever they did the reprint of death of superman and they added a couple of issues and we got the exile omnibus i really thought oh my gosh they're thinking ahead they're going to actually map these things out perfectly and then nothing happened i would like to think that they're thinking around that because that in itself is the triangle years era and if they're gonna do that I don't know. I don't know if they'll go the Marvel route, like giving you an option of like, hey, here's Triangle Years Volume. What would that be? Four? Or you can buy it as the Death and Return of Superman, and then we'll map the Triangle Years Volume 4 a little bit differently. I don't know what they're going to do. I would like to think that they're thinking ahead and mapping things around books. What stories? Oh, the ones I just mentioned. Seriously, uh, they they save Luther's brain. It's a ridiculous story, but I'm all here for it. The introduction of Supergirl, or I guess the reintroduction of Matrix Supergirl. And I'm a big fan of Time and Time Again. And Exile's coming back to print. Omar, I just finished a graphic novel. Can you recommend my next one? Standalone graphic novel. What did you read, John? Let's start with that. When will you showcase the Flash by Williamson Omnibus? As soon as I get it, probably. Because I've read that stuff, so I'm ready to talk about it. Props on the Vampire House single issue by Priest. Oh, the folks at Dynamite sent me this. This was so sweet. I wasn't expecting this. This was right after I interviewed him. They sent me a copy of Vampirella 666, and it's signed by him. And, of course, they always do the uh, whoops, uh, certificate of authenticity. So that was completely unexpected. And that was really kind. I want them to reprint Muppets Omnibus, to be honest. I never owned it, and I love the Muppets. Did you vote for it on our poll? Or um, let me keep an eye on John too. I'm rolling solo, so please bear with me on the uh, when I on the chat. 
Hey, Omar, what are your favorite eras of Spider-Man? Uh, probably the stuff that I enjoyed when I was younger. Uh, the Roger Stern era, the David Michelinie and Todd McFarlane era, the J.M. DeMatteis era. That kind of stuff is what I liked. Like in modern era, I probably like the JMS run. I actually like a lot of slots run. And honestly, Nick Spencer, I, I kind of enjoyed a lot of his stuff. Not everything. I don't agree with everything, but I kind of enjoyed a lot of his stuff. Hey, Derek, how are you, buddy? What's up, Chris? Good morning, Omar. It's a gorgeous day in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been burning the candle at both ends at work, so feeling run down and a bit sick. What comfort books do you recommend when you are sick? Depends on what kind of sick I am, man. I'll be honest, because sometimes I get so sick, I don't even want to read. But since I do this for a living and I have to, I guess it's whatever I need to be reading <laughs> at the time. Um, but I think when I used to get sick and I could read, it would be some, something light, like uh, Yots Yotsuba or Farside or Calvin and Hobbes or, or Peanuts. Um or even what was it? It was Moon Girl that I read when I was sick one time. That was cute because I was like, "Oh, I can't wait to go and hug my kids. I'm miserable right now." Um, or the Young Justice by Peter David. I feel like DC's finance will be a huge success, but DC will cancel. Oh, don't, don't, don't jinx it before it even starts, my brother. Let's see where it goes. What's up, Kenny? How are you, man? With the Marvel full catalog dropping yesterday, it looks like Captain Marvel by Thompson wasn't included. Mentioned as delayed to November. Will that be in the next catalog? Um, I'll be asking. Is it? It's not in there. I could have sworn that I saw it in there. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Boy, they keep moving that book. Omar, I wanted to say thank you for selling those X Factor Peter David's runs. So good. Love the characters. I never thought I would. Oh, they, uh, you would think that Madrox rules. Yeah, he's one of my favorites, man. I love that character. But everybody that Peter David writes, I mean, even Quicksilver, right, who got on a lot of people's nerves, is one of the best characters in X Factor. Hey, Omar, do you think we'll get more X-Men Krakoa era Omni, especially now that the Krakoa era is officially over in X-Men comics, or is it too soon to tell? I know that when I talked to David about it, we had a phone call about it last year. He said they would look at the Krakoa era when it's all said and done. So they were not going to focus on any more OHCs outside the ones that we had already announced or Omnis. What's up, Dom? How are you, buddy? And do you think the Suicide Squad as a concept is being overhated recently? I love the concept, but a lot of people have soured on it recently. What? I haven't heard this. Is there backlash on the Suicide Squad? Why? It's good. It's really good. It's so good. Warren Ellis took that concept and used it on his Thunderbolts run. It's that good. What? what uh, or seriously, are people having problems with the Suicide Squad? Have you ever really uh have you been ever been really looking forward to reading a series only to struggle to get through it? I got the Black Science Compendium and after a month I'm still only half a dozen issues through it. Um Yeah, I think when I was younger and I or when I worked at the comic book store, people would recommend lots of people, lots of people would recommend the same book over and over and I remember sometimes thinking uh, what what uh, I don't get it. I'll be honest with you, one of the ones that I struggled with, people love, absolutely love, and that's Scalped. I, I finished it for the sake of finishing it, and I'm excited for the omnibus for people that wanted that and never got a chance to get it in an oversized hardcover. And I realize how so many people love it, but I just, you know, just wasn't the biggest fan of that. Would you recommend reading the DC Masters of the uh, Masters of the Universe omnibus? Was it a good read? It was Conan. It was Conan Light. But it was good. I liked it. The Invincible Compendium. Those are only direct market, I think. Bruce, how are you, buddy? Thank you so much for the super chat, my brother. When I used to communicate with Warner, every time there would be a new person that was my contact. This was before Discovery took over. I have no idea if DC is like that. Um, it's almost like playing musical chairs. Except instead of taking one chair away, they take two chairs away. So I don't know who my contact is for PR anymore. I don't know who my contact is for books anymore. I have a contact, but they don't, their signature doesn't really say what they do. So I, I, I don't know. It's they're, you know, they're working on a skeleton crew and I feel bad for them. It's not their fault. But I mean, just based on the catalog, I don't understand how they're doing this. Like they have to have a designated team to be putting out that product. They can't just be filling up a catalog for the sake of filling up a catalog and then not 
delivering on books. So I don't think that's the case. But I think there's definitely a lot of people that are not there anymore. No co-host today. No, Melanie is... Uh, we're going on a <laughs> spring break trip next, this coming week, so she's getting ready for it. Good morning, Omar. Have you ever run a poll in the most wanted Marvel Gallery editions? No, no. Today, this year is the first year we're doing multiple types of polls, including the DC polls. Rose, <laughs> you're already asking for Road to Onslaught Omnibus Volume 2? Oh, I do. I did make my video, so it has to get approved by Marvel, so you'll be seeing the update on the Road to Onslaught, including the covers and, of course, how it's been changed to a Volume 1. Five bits of x lore you would retcon out if... <laughs> Oh my gosh, John. Okay. Things that I don't like. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, the Draco. She lies with angels. Uh, I could have just gone in the, 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 the new stupid Peter Milligan Four Horsemen of Apocalypse that made absolutely no sense. I actually hate the idea of Quanon and Betsy being two different people. I know people love it. And I get why it was done, but I cannot stand that. Like, Psylocke is always Psylocke to me. And it gets confusing even when talking about Psylocke these days. But there's a whole generation that grew up with both characters. So I get it. Um, and the last thing I would retcon is Onslaught. Thank you for the hard question. Dude, what's up, Omni Nation? How are you, brother? I was having a rough morning and I pulled up your Green Lantern reading order video and was cheered up. Thanks for making content that uplifts. Oh, you're so welcome, man. I hope you're feeling better for real. Uh, go read some comics. Go read some comics, man. I, I, I know that. I I, I mean that. I, I, it makes me feel better. What's your oldest buy you haven't read yet? Well, that would probably be Golden Age Wonder Woman Volume 1. I own it. The Omnibus. I rebought it. I never finished reading it, and I got, I think, oh, 10 more stories to read. So does that count? I'm currently reading New X-Men. I'm roughly 75% through it. As someone who mostly knows the characters from outside the comics, who is the character that you and Oddfell were talking about? Oh, I can't. I can't say what it is because you're only 75% away. And my issue, my biggest issue that I have with Grant Morrison's New X-Men outside of Attack on Weapon, the retcon of Weapon. That's the other thing I would take away, the retcon of Weapon X. Ooh, I hated that. Um, comes towards the end of the run. So I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't read it. Looking forward to reading the slot Spider-Man. Didn't gel well with the JMS. Found arcs like the other hard to get through. Well, I hope that uh, you enjoy it more. I'm the best. Oh, thanks, buddy. How are you, Jake? Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, do you have a good DC contact? <laughs> uh, do I really? We just went over that, Johnny. Man of Steel 4 seems to be out of print. Other three aren't previously. They almost seemed evergreen. Any info, thoughts? My thoughts? They probably don't know. So, I mean, I can always let them know. What's up, Huff Dealey? How are you? I will be talking thoroughly tomorrow evening about the new DC's finest. Holy moly. Did not see all that coming, like, that quick. Thought on the X-Men 97 series. I'm loving the episode so far, especially since I'm just about to get into the Fall of the Mutants and Inferno. Uh, love, love, loved episodes 1 and 2. I think those were 8 out of 10 episodes for me. Uh, episode 3, I don't want to spoil. It, I will just say, wh what? Even if I didn't know the stories, this went way too quickly. What is? Slow down. Slow down, X-Men. Uh, so that one for me was like a six out of ten, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it, man. Look at that hashtag. They 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 brought back Cyclops. Who'd have thought? Thank you for the super chat, Living Shot. Is Venom better as a street or cosmic character? I like the cosmic side of Venom. It adds a whole new lore. But that is a question for my buddy Phil Owens. He'll understand. I hope you're doing okay, Phil. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the cosmic side of things when they retcon a lot of the story and is like where the symbiotes come from. Omar, have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? For me, before comics I played, and now I'm going back to collect the books for the 80s and early 90s. I have played Dungeons and Dragons twice. It was one of my geeky things I never got into, uh, but it's been fun when I played. Like one of um, my friend Heather and Tina, they throw one shots for us. 
And I'm supposed to get together with my friend Tyler to do it, but I've been so freaking busy and behind just to do a one shot. That's all I had to do. Create a character. Sorry, Tyler, if you're watching. Omar talked about the new, uh, I will be uh, on Saturday or tomorrow, tomorrow evening or afternoon. Oh, oh, that's another one. Dang it. Oh, man, there's so many bad red cones in X-Men, huh? Yeah, the trial gambit. Oh, Batman, Bruce Wayne, Fugitive Omni mapping. Yeah, I'm all here for it. Hopefully it leads to my legacy contagion omnibus. Omar, with the flood of announcements, I've lost track. What Spidey Omnis are coming this spring and summer? Uh, we're getting David Michelini and Mark Bagley Volume 1. We're getting Nick Spencer Volume 2. That one should be out next month in May. Or no, we're, we're still in March. So in May, that one's coming out. And we just got Spidey 2099 Volume 2. Uh, the Joe Kelly omnibus comes out in, that's been pushed until January of 2025 and the big time comes out. I think it got, it got a new slot and I want to say it was in October. I want to say big time is in, not, not big time. Um, brand new day, brand new days in October. How close are we to poss the possibility of a, Ghost Rider reading order. Do you have the run? Not too complicated. Oh, thank you. Um, well, we've got the masterworks, right? To do almost all of Johnny Blaze. We got one epic of the classic and one epic of um Danny. So I'm thinking, like, what about Robbie? Uh, we still have some complete collection, so that's a maybe. Let me be the co-host, Omar. I got nothing better to do this morning besides eating breakfast. Okay. Let me get some questions, and then I'll, I'll send you the link, dude. Thank you for that, Dom. I thought the episode three would have been drawn out for the finale way too fast. Yeah, you thought that too? I am. Melanie has a lot to do because she is a super wife and a super mom. So <laughs> if we go on trips, she, she gets ready like three or four days ahead of time. Me, I get ready probably the day of. Has anybody seen my AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> things like that. Hey, Kane, what's your process for picking books to take with you when you travel? I tend to stick with the Lux editions versus bringing Omnis and was curious if size was a fact. Dude, I've, I've told stories, Derek, where I'm running in the airport trying to catch my connecting flight with two to three Omnis in my backpack. Oh, that was a workout. Size is, yeah, it, size is not a factor. Bigger the better, baby, because I could be done with a deluxe edition. But if I brought an Omni, I'd play it safe. So really, no, not a factor. Nowadays, it's more like, ooh, what's coming out in a couple of weeks that I need to go ahead and get started on? How well is the Omni poll? That is an excellent question. How how well is the Omni poll? Uh, Dom, uh, remind me to send you an invite, okay, buddy? Give me one second. Let me look. That is a good question. So for the first time... We are holding the poll with options that you can vote on instead of writing it in. So it's been a lot better. We've gotten a lot of great feedback. You know, uh, just a couple of people that were not happy with the way it was done, but I get it. You can't please everybody. And I just, I'm at the point where, sorry, you can't please everybody. But I think we did a phenomenal job not to pat myself on the back, putting this beast of a thing together. And it looks like, wow. So la to give me an idea, you know, it started off with like 100 or so people. And then uh, last year was the most, which was like a little bit over 600. Right now, we're at 1,300 votes. And those are the ones that have already been filtered through. There were a couple of, eh, not really, like 50 or so fraud votes. I haven't voted yet because I'm, I'm still sitting on mine. Um but I also release a video every month or uh, every year with my choices for like my top 20. What's up, Polly? How you doing, buddy? What's a run that is critically acclaimed, but you disliked or hated? Uh, <laughs> you want to get me in trouble, man? I, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the entire Ultimate Universe, but the new one is really speaking to me. Like, I really like Ultimate Spider-Man. I think it's so good. Um, Ultimate X-Men is so weird. It's not like X-Men, but I kind of like where it might go. And Ultimate Black Panther, kind of middle of the road for me, but the entire Ultimate Universe. People love it. It's it's nostalgia for a lot of people. I just never 
it's one of those been there done that that's uh that uh, i think that would be my choice and because I, I just talked about scalped i omar i agree that they rushed that storyline next men 97 should have been like two or, or like the mid-season finale why are we rushing this this is big we just got the note thing. Anyway, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, your IDW Transformers hardcovers behind you are stunning. Thank you. They are stunning, but also incomplete. One day, right? One day. Hey, Omar, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Omar, what can you give us your thoughts on Spider-Man Beyond? Uh, um, if you like Ben Riley, you're going to be happy. If you like Ben Riley, it's going to make you mad. It's okay for me. That, those are my honest thoughts. Just got the Graham Morrison Batman Omnibus 1. You're in for a treat. You're in for a headache. Don't lie, Omar. You pack your Omnis for vacation two weeks ahead of time. No, I don't. Not anymore. I used to. Like when we went to Japan, I remember packing things. I think I did a vi Did I do a video of me packing things? I think it was on TikTok. And Tina was like, there's no way you're taking that. And Nelly, I think, was like, yes, he is. He's crazy. DC is really cooking with the Omnis. So, dude, let me tell you something. They've had over two dec uh 2004, right? 2004. They've had two decades to feed us what we've been craving. And they're finally, finally looks like they're in the they're heading in the right direction. Not that there's anything wrong with what they've released in the past, but from the the big shocker of freaking Superman. The triangle years, anything that opens the door for anything. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Omar, do you know if DC's planning on reprinting Superman Up in the Sky by Tom King? They will probably do a deluxe edition of that and an absolute edition one day. Size is not a factor, Omar. That's what I've been told. And for it took 10 years in the comics. Send Dom an invite. Thank you. I, I told him I would. I promise. I'm just trying to get through the questions and then get to the bottom here. Hey, Omar, do you think there's a chance of Daredevil Silver Age Omni being reprinted anytime soon? That one's set on liquidation for a few years. Do I think it'll be reprinted? Absolutely. I think it will be because they'll have to put the new spine on it. Just like I think Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1 will be reprinted with the new spine too. I have vote, not voted yet. Need to think of my final three. Oh, I need to think of my final two. Not many announcements of reprints of classic Omnis lately from DC or Marvel. Well, because Marvel, we just went through the catalog, so they don't have any more announcements until I'll probably be getting a list sometime in April and start making videos maybe late April. I am not voting for Alf. I can guarantee you, though, it ain't looking good, James. Don't you try to create any more fake accounts, James. I'm on to you. But it's just good to see, like, this many people take vote, this many people, you know, feel like their voice is being heard. Because I think that's awesome. I, lo I love that about doing this poll. And I think we made Tiger Eyes really proud doing it this way. Um, but, yeah, with, you know, 1,300 responses. It's A lot of these are surprising me how far up the poll they are, like, I wasn't expecting some of these to be so high, which is different, right? Because where it started from in the Marvel Masterworks, now it's moved on to uh, I, two years I've been promoting it. And then last year we took a, we actually made a video. Now this year's where we're pretty much, you know, a big part of this. And to me, it's interesting where the votes are shifting to. Link to the Omnipol? Uh, yeah, let me... The video came out last Sunday, if you missed it, but I'll put it in the chat. <clears throat> oh, and James has got it. How's the Iron Man Omnis for the most? Oh, I can't, uh, I can't check right now because when people are voting it just it's a it, it's a nightmare uh but i can tell you how much the there were 1300 votes so far have you ever really damaged a hardcover yes it dropped from my top shelf my lost warrior it was uh da, 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 what was it, it was new x-men my first printing of new x-men i ended up giving it to amanda because she was like don't get rid of that i'll take it so she's got my copy of it 
It hurt. It hurt. So the Tiger Eye poll is looking good. 1,300 votes, so keep them coming. Oh, thank you, JJ. I appreciate that. What's a run or story you think won't be likely releases an omnibus that you think you and others would love? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Anything is possible these days. Anything is possible. I mean, we've had licensed product that just started coming out this year. <sighs> Nth Man. There you go. That's one, maybe. I haven't seen anything. Oh, I missed a lot, man. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything past the killing joke. DC is really killing my budget for this year. Be careful what we wish for, but I'm so pumped. <laughs> yeah, man. You would never check an omnibus at the airport, would you? Probably too risky. I have actually a funny story about that. My brother and I, I was working in, um, I was working in Minneapolis and we went to a comic book store and I ended up buying the Dark Tower uh, slipcase edition, uh, volume two. Or no, no, it was volume one. They had it on sale. It was like half off. Uh, I took it to the airport. And I had it in my bag and I got escorted by security. Because they didn't, they didn't know what it was, and I said it's a it's a, it's a comic book, it's a book collection, and they were like, "What's in there for real?" Like they didn't believe me, and thank God I'm not a collector, I'm a reader, because they had to. They were like, "We're gonna have to open this up." So I was like, "Okay, open it up," but I'm it's a book, it's a comic book collection. I don't know how to describe it, because it was you know it comes in a slipcase. It's one of those rare Marvel omnis that has a slipcase. So they open it up and they start flipping through. And he was the, the guy that was checking it. He was like, it is a comic book. Huh? This, this is interesting. And I was like, yeah. Can I have my stuff back so I can get on the plane? It, yeah, I don't know why. I think when it came through the machine, they must have picked up something that made him think it was odd. And I needed to be escorted by security. What is your favorite omnibus and why is it Avengers The Crossing? Uncanny X-Men Volume 1, my first one. Crossing is up there. Omar, you're in need of a co-host this morning. How about Maddie? Well, I was going to see if Dom wanted to join me. I'll send him the link, and I'll ask Maddie if she wants to join, too. What's up, Omar? I just left the comic shop. What'd you get, brother? Nikki, how are you? Without the poll, wouldn't have... Uh, wouldn't have much of an idea of what is in an omnibus yet and what I would be interested to try out. There are so many comics out there. My brain implodes. There are. Omar, have you ever asked David Gabriel to co-host the show so everyone can bombard him with questions and suggestions? Uh, David doesn't really uh, do appearances. Um, this is something that he told me many years ago. And I understand why. And I respect that. But he said maybe one day. He said never stop asking him. So I will keep asking him. Do you think we can get Old Man Quill complete collection? Yes. Yes. <laughs> really? Voting in simple. Put in cable by Dwayne Zorzinski. Ah, yeah, that's another run people like that I wasn't a big fan of. Mainly because of what they did to my boy. Although I like the lone wolf and cub aspect of it. Hello, good morning. Last Tuesday on March, I went to my local Walmart and found a manga deluxe called Berserk. Son, my mom bought it for me. It's my first manga. I'm super excited. Are you messing with me? Please don't tell me you're a 12-year-old kid about to read Berserk. Put your mom on. The, put your mom on. Sorry about that. My dad calls. And at my dad's age, you pick up when your dad calls. Sorry about the other day, Omar. Um, what'd you do? Did you wrong me in some way? I do like your avatar, so I'll always forgive him whatever happened. I've never understood why the comic character's logo were not put in the Omni Spines from the beginning instead of Select Omnis. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, I think they're trying to rebrand that, right? 
Yeah, somebody uh, check on Mario Two Face. Make sure that he's not a twelve year old kid about to read Berserk. Um, but then again, I'm not his parent, so. With the Batman Murder Fugitive Omni in the catalog, is there enough material for an omnibus to bridge the gap between? Yeah, it would be a uh, New Gotham, that era it would be awesome. But who knows? Uh, hello, Omar, with the Street Fighter Swimsuit Hardcover Volume Two this year coming out this year. I see Volume One will get a reprint. Do you know if IST and CGN are getting those? I know those are well, the the one cover. The one with the Chun Li, woo! Uh, that one, that one is uh, exclusive to the Udon shop. So I am assuming that the other covers, the other regular covers, are going to be uh, available for to CGN and IST. Japan has manga vending machines at airports and subways, and some airports have free manga to read on shelf. I've never seen the. I've heard about the manga vending machines, but I've never seen any. Um, they've kind of cut down. I was really disappointed the last time we went. They got the only cool vending machine I saw was the, um, the hot sauce vending machine, and that was it. Everything else, I was like, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. My new X-Men fell too. Thankfully, a librarian friend of mine was able to fix it up. Now, that's what's up. Get yourself a librarian friend. We're sorry, Mr. Omar. You've packed too many Omnis. <laughs> I would hope not. I made sure my Hulk by Bruce Jones was in that voting poll. Omar, you think there's still hope for that one? Oh, there's always hope. It springs eternal, man. John, I can't imagine you voting for anything outside of <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> Probably because the slipcase looks odd and you are, well, not white. And my name is also Omar. I get it. Uh, LOL. TSA just got saber tooth. <laughs> Dude, like they were like three people that escorted me. I ain't never been escorted over anything. Thoughts on Empire Omnibus? It's okay. I love the art. Love the art. Some stories are better than others, but that goes with just about every crossover. I like Solo Omar. Oh, thank you, but I need my co-host. I like my baby. Uh, John Barber's Zoop Conan Artist Edition is a book you might review when it releases. Did you grab one? I'm supposed to be sent one, and I'll go for whatever cover Zoop decides to send me. By the way, I want John Barber back on the channel along with uh, his co-writer, James Roberts, because they wrote my favorite Transformers era. Did he let you go, or did he read the book? <laughs> no, he's just sitting there flipping pages like he could not believe that it was a comic book. How about your master black magic and resurrect Stan Lee and Jack Kirby to host, host with you? Uh, if I had that ability, I don't know if they would be my first choices. You think that's bad trying to take an unopened Transformers G1 Megatron? Oh, yeah, that, that won't fly. Omar, for AMAs, would you ever pull Patreons to join you? I know you did bar ones, but it was cool to see some regulars. Pop uh, yeah, whatever the limitations are with uh, this, though. Uh, StreamYard, I'm not really sure anymore. I think it was 10? Because we do it through uh, StreamYard, not through Zoom. That would be fun. Still trying to narrow down my most wanted new Marvel Omnis. Or just 10. Wow, this is really tough. So many great runs still need to be collected. Yeah, it just goes to show you how much more there is, too. Thanks, Richard. Spider-Man brand new day delayed again. October, really? That's disappointing. I'll have to check. Since I'm rolling solo, I can't really go and check. Omar packs Spidey 2099. Omnis gets promoted to first class. I get detained at the airport for packing Alf. That, that would be my luck. It's past due. DC needs to release a Batman Long Shadows omnibus, including Battle for the Cow by Daniel. Wow, you went with Long Shadows, huh? I, I would still want my year one, year two omnibus with that era. That stuff right here has never been collected, though, in like an oversized hardcover format. <laughs> no, I don't. You're 31 years old. Oh, you're fine then. Um, go enjoy Berserk. Go enjoy Berserk. Alan, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm sorry about your dad, dude. That sucks. Have you ever thought about doing live streams for playing games? Um, Like a Twitch like a like a twitch. I sound like an old man. Uh, I Maddie had been wanting me to, but I never, I never went past the point of like maybe. I I don't even have the time to play games anymore. As crazy as that sounds, 
Do you have any trades with the new Teen Titans by Wolfman and Perez? I did. I don't anymore. I gave them away because I have the Omnis. Wudons needs to make some hardbacks for Mega Man, Street Fighter, and Darkstalkers. Well, they have hardbacks of most of those. They don't have a hardback on the Mega Man tribute, tri uh, the tribute book. I wish that they would make one. Wanted to say I hope Omar and everyone in the chat is doing well. Thank you, Nikki. Just finished yesterday putting my bookcase for my Omnis. Finally. Such a good feeling. For the Lone Wolf, the Lone Wolf and Cub part is exactly why I love it. Uh, no end league or year two. It's no end league or year two. A man after my own heart. My man. Hi, <laughs> Omar. Love the interview with Daniel Warren Johnson. Will you be picking up his extreme extremity signature edition? I since I have to do this for a living and I have to pay for things out of my own pocket that don't get sent to me, I have to limit myself to what I get, right? So I think for the majority of viewers, they probably want me to get um, you know, an omnibus or two. And that book was $150, I think. Uh, I would totally get it if I had the extra funds for sure. A hundred percent I would get it. I love the art of that, and I hope he keeps making artist editions, honestly, because I like to see one of Murder Falcon or the paybacks. Eunice the Untouchable shows up again. Yes, he does. Wow, you're going back to the Silver Age, huh? Going to see Godzilla and Kong today with the family. I told my wife that that was the sequel to Godzilla Minus One. It was not. Omar, how was the trouble read last week? I'll be honest with you. It broke my eye. It broke my eye. Oh, thank you so much, Reed Comics. How you doing? Uh, Reed is out of the UK. Hi, Omar. Brand new day omnibus, July 17th on Penguin and Diamond. Okay, thank you. Favorite manga of all time? This sounds like a basic answer, but 15 years ago, hardly anybody knew. Berserk. I'm a younger reader in my mid 20s, so all my picks were modern for the top 10. <laughs> that's that's what I've seen. I've seen a change. Which comics from the big two in your hey, thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. In your parental opinion, it are inappropriate for young readers. Viva Peru Carajo. From the big two for young readers. It's weird because when I was a young cat, when I was younger, I read stuff that I probably shouldn't have been reading. So it's hard for me to, you know. I guess nobody should read Trouble from ages three to eighty nine. Yeah, it's it's bad. Um, I guess for the same reason. I, also, nobody should really read Identity Crisis. I'm trying to think. Like, well, what is a book that I would have a problem with uh, kids reading? Maybe, maybe some of. Fury Max because of the violence, but even if, if as a 12 year old, I would have been like, This is awesome. Yeah, I don't know. This is a hard question. So, I guess maybe some Vertigo titles like Under Bullets, if you're 10 years old, probably wouldn't give that to a 10 year old or Scalped, or for that matter, Fury Max or Punisher Max. So, yeah, something like that. What's up, Rick here? It's been a long while. How have you been, man? Missed your show. Still in the game. Props to DC for finally getting out. So many omnis. Knock on wood. In the catalog, and hopefully nothing gets canceled. Is Iron Man by Duggan the first time an Avenger book has not been intertwined with the X-Men? Do you think... Oh, has been. Uh, and do you think those Iron Man issues would be in a Krakoa omni? No, we, we had things like Quicksilver that was intertwined heavily, of course, because of his connection to the Avengers and the X-Men. Uh, I think parts of it would have to be in an omnibus for sure. Will Fatal Attraction's Epic have Uncanny 301 and 302 missing from the X-Men milestones? They do. Or they should. I'm sorry, they should. Have I read any manga in the past month? I reread Vinland Saga and I read Innocent, the Omnibus Volume 1. Oh, that's got some beautiful, beautiful artwork. If you haven't had a chance to read that, it is freaking amazing. Like, just the artwork alone. Uh, I read the adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's The Shadow Over Innsmouth. That's got beautiful artwork too. Cat Gamer Volume 4. Just did I just did a video with uh, Tina, so I'm thinking of the books, and I reread Cat Eyed Boy Volume Two. 
my favorite YouTubers. I enjoyed your videos. Thank you, Mario. That is so kind. Any chance you get to do an interview with Ed Brubaker? Oh, I would love to talk to Ed. I don't know why I call him Ed. Dom Vex and Maddie co-host. Oh, I sent Dom an, an invite. Oh, and thank you, Kate. Maybe you should come on uh, and, and help me with this. Uh, sponsor time. So, yes, if you live in Canada, don't forget to check out our sponsors in Canada, BD Cosmos. They're a storefront. They have a physical storefront in Montreal, Quebec. They have 25% off your order of 99 Canadian dollars or more free shipping everywhere in Canada for every $200 or more. And you can tell them to ship it all together to get to that $200 mark. And you tell them the make condition sent you their way. You are added automatically to a monthly $25 gift card raffle entries are valid for new and returning customers. Give them a call, give them an email. And that is bdcosmos.com. Your Canadian source for, Omnis and collected editions. Hey, is that what Melanie does? I can't remember what she does, but that's my spiel. Thank you for that reminder. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, who are the two comic book characters you love, but most people don't care about? For me, it's Deadshot and Morbius, the living vampire. Yeah, that movie didn't help, huh? I'm thinking a lot of people like Deadshot. Uh, Longshot. I don't think a lot of people care for Longshot. It's one of my favorite characters. And the Black Knight. When people pick their favorite Avengers, no, hardly anybody picks the Black Knight. Found the Battle of the Planets run from 79 on Alex. Oh, the, Alex Ross did the covers. He's a big fan. Yeah, um, Al, Lo <laughs> Lost Girls, I would probably put on the top shelf for sure. Remember, Mark Miller thought trouble was safe for nine-year-olds. It's okay to be wrong. Uh, I voted for Storm Omnibus. I hope it makes the cut because she desperately needs a decent collected edition. I would love that personally, being one of my favorite X-Men. How's the basement? Not finished. When does the Old Republic Volume 1 Omnibus reprint? No word. It was voted in our top 20, so I did send that list over to Marvel. And thank you so much, Miss Lady Soul, for your super chat. Hope it gets cut, because she definitely needs a collection. I agree with that, by the way. Best Wolverine Omnibus, in my opinion, Volume 3. Well, why am I pointing over there? You can't see it. Volume 3. It's got my favorite story. It's got my favorite team. Uh, and, yeah, that's that's the greatest. Volume 1 is probably the right answer because it's got Weapon X, the first 10 issues of Wolverine, the original miniseries, parts of From the Ashes. That will probably be the right answer. But my personal, Volume 3. It got, oh, so good. It's so good. Let me text Dom. Is Mark Miller ever right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> ever thought about making your own comic book company? Man, it takes a lot of work. But honestly, just learning from the industry, just behind the scenes, um, I have learned a lot. And then for a while, I thought about it. and it, But then it's like, what would make my independent publishing company stand out about uh, stand out above everybody else or, you know, what would be so different? So that's 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 sometimes I do think about it though. Thank you for that question. What's the first appearance comic book you'd love to own? Uh well, I used to own X-Men number one. I used to own Incredible Hulk 181 and Giant Size X-Men 1. Uh Spider-Man 300. Man, them lawyers aren't cheap, dude. Uh probably Giant Size 1. I'd love to own that one again just because it, it meant so much to me and I had to get rid of it because we all got to do what we got to do. What's up? Bunk Master B. Howdy chat. Everyone make sure to find a window and defend it straight. The like, Oh, the like button. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes. Mark Miller is the Michael Bay of comic books. I feel like bad boys also bought a Kenner Wampa do back and Rancor. Where did you go? Oh, you went to a comic book store. Any word from David about the Dracula reprints? No official word. All I know is that he looked at the list and he's like, there's some awesome choices here. Let's see what we can do. So that's all I heard. I will Right now, they have a couple of retreats ha happening, like a creator's retreat, and they have the PRH conference. So I know they are busy. What do you mean Morbius more popular? He had a movie. Yeah. 
And that made him pe like people hate him more. Just sending love. Mentees be well. Thank you, Kevin Barry. Hope you're well, brother. Omar, you should call. I ain't call I ain't put no Omar verse in the company, man. I appreciate that, Ryan. You're really nice, though. And thank you again, Kevin, for the super chat, brother. The real answer is action. Your small company, publishing company, would have a better marketing and PR than the big two. Uh, I don't know about that, Josh. That takes a lot of time and money. I was going to collect Wolverine. Would I go with the Omnibus or the Epic Collections? Well, some of the Epic Collections are also out of print. Um, I like the Omnis because they have oversized artwork. I'm a big fan of that. And my old eyes are learning to appreciate that a lot more. Epic collections are more complete. Be well, for Wolverine, though, they've only done a couple of creator-centric books like Mark by Mark Miller and Jason Aaron. But they've been cranking these out, like volumes one, two, three, four, and we're getting a five. So I don't know. For me, it would be Omnibus. That's my choice. Is there currently a way to get the Weapon X miniseries in a hardcover? Yes, uh, Omnibus Volume 1 or the Gallery Edition. What did you think of Marvel Rivals game trailer, Galactus Daughter? That's a deep cut. I I haven't seen it. What is that? Ah, Mark Miller was right about Samuel Jackson making a great Nick Fury. Miller was certainly right to shed some light on small retailers' problems recently, despite the backlash of some other creators. Uh, I was mainly talking about his bad writing in uh, Trouble. I don't know if what, what he's doing nowadays. I know that he signed a deal with Netflix, and I know that he signed a deal with uh, Dark Horse to release his books. Personally, I don't know what he's doing. On a, Does he have a channel? Is that what it is? Is there a place I could show you my comic fan art? I drew various Marvel characters in the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes art style. Yeah, send it to nearmakecon uh, near at gmail.com. If you ever have fan art or anything you want to send, you can send it here. And always, I'll be happy to share. What's up, Big Johnny? Sorry for the late arrival, but what do you think of the Stormwatch Compendium and the chances that finally listing that will include the Wildcats alien one-shot? That's, that's, that's... <laughs> That's interesting because we could get that technically because we're getting a Marvel versus DC and Disney now owns the rights to Aliens. So maybe there's a slim chance. I figured if they have that, though, why not make it an omnibus? Miller was wrong with every word of Civil War. <laughs> you already know how I feel about that story. Um Hey, Omar, is the library books video you were discussing earlier in the month still in the plants? Yes, that I'm hoping. Oh, Dom's here. Uh, that I'm hoping to uh, go up sometime in either April or early May. And then the live discussion will be in May sometime, getting a bunch of content creators. Uh, so everybody, this is Dom of X, who has been my wonderful addition to the channel and helping me behind the scenes with... Uh, slide shows and thumbnails and things like that. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Omar. <laughs> good morning, man. Doesn't change the fact that trouble is terrible. Yes, it, 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 it's kind of bad. Mark Miller does good interviews on his channel, so he does have a channel. See, I don't, I, I don't even keep up with who has a channel anymore or not. Ask David if we can get Marvel versus DC hardcover, so I don't need to get the Omni. I think that's gonna be a no. But I do. I really want to ask him that. Shouldn't I ask him about something we really need, like <laughs> that he can try try to keep fighting for, even though I know it's a lost cause? Look, people are saying hi, Dom. Good morning, everybody. Happy to be here on this uh, Saturday morning. Gosh, it's eight fifty four here in the West. Yeah, Coast. it's early for you. You're out in Cali. People talk bad about Mark Miller as a person, but he always seems like a super nice and humble online in interviews. He's I have never never met the man. I just I <laughs> he's gotten a lot of his uh, friends who are. Pretty big names like Jeff Johns, uh, Brian Michael Bendis, but guys like that on his channel and done interviews. Uh, Brian Hitch was also on his channel too, I believe. So he's got. He's oh, they got collaborated together on a few. Books yeah, they've too. they've all they they're all friends. So, more we'll slowly creating his own near mint condition network. Oh my gosh, 
that would be awesome. Then I could actually take a real vacation instead of having to check on the channel while I'm in Japan. <laughs> Although I did really good last year, but it took me three days, no joke, to get into vacation mode to be like, okay, I think I can leave it alone. I've got everything on auto. I think it's fine. And Melanie had like Melanie had to keep reminding me it's not gonna go away. It's not going to uh, implode because I always worry about that whole manga thing that happened with this. What if I get strikes and I didn't check? And she was like, well, there's really nothing you can do about it from here anyway. So why not stop worrying about it? So yeah, it took like three days to get my head like, okay, let's go on like vacation. Wrapped around and all that. Oh, for sure, for sure. That, oh my gosh, that was so needed and it, it was wonderful. It really got me like rejuvenated to come back and I was really happy to come back and start filming again. Hey, Arya! Omar really praised trouble during the but did not John. John didn't even want John didn't want to even be so associated with the book. He didn't show his face on the stream. It was awesome. Uh Nearman Collective, beware of the Illumin Illumin Omni. <laughs> we do have a channel called Nearman Collective, my friends and I. I don't think they do any more pre-recorded videos, even though I have volunteered my services to lead them again. Um, uh, but we'll see. Best Japan clip from last year. Omar wanted to rip into the comics that the stores ripped the covers off and threw out. Oh, yes. I was like, they're recycling manga. I feel so guilty living. Like, because, you know, over there, manga, kind of like the way we thought of comics in the Golden and Silver Age, people just threw them out, right? Like, they were disposable. So over there, there was huge bins of manga that, that they were recycling. And I was like, this, this feels like a crime. Why aren't we saving these? <laughs> NMC friends, I saw someone ask about this earlier, but I believe you announced Guardians of the Galaxy Bendis Volume 2 for October of this year. Is it unusual that it still hasn't been solicited? I, I will double check with them. But I'm not sure what the dates are. This is our channel, Near Main Collective. I was on there live with them on Thursday. Technically, you can ruin an ending of a manga for yourself by reading it the wrong way. Fun fact. That is a fun fact. Miller, Wade, and Bendis are typical, not typically for me, but certainly have their moments. Is Overwatch like a game? Dr. Doom and Doom 29 are confirmed bad guys, but not in the trailer. Uh, yes, Overwatch is a game. Yes. Omar creating his own network. Next, you're telling tell me some collective channel former near mid commentators. <laughs> they, I need, I need a, I need a, sh I need a, I need to give them guidance. So, uh, they need some help. But I can only stretch myself so far out before my brain just explodes. Manga is meant to be recycled. It's the culture, especially how cheap the paper is at times. Speaking of paper, I noticed that the Savage Sword of Conan had that manga ish paper. And I wonder if that's like what they're going to, it's almost like a newsprint type of paper. And I wonder if that's what they're going to keep doing. And then when it's collected, they'll put it on like glossy paper stock. What do you guys think of the adaptation of Nemesis done by Snyder? Of an adaptation. Have you read Nemesis? I've read it a long time ago. I don't remember much of it. It was, it was not for me, but if you enjoy it, then you mean not Scott Snyder. You're talking about yeah, Zack Snyder. Actually, that could work. <laughs> I, I, if anybody can pull that off, it's probably Zack Snyder. I can see that working. Here's a fun fact. 2024, Oxford added Isekai into their dictionary. What a time to be alive. Did they actually? Oh, they what did. Was the, there was a comic book that I was thinking, oh my gosh, when I was rereading it. You know, I mean, of course, uh, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. But there was a comic book I was rereading. It was like a Silver Age comic. I was thinking, this is kind of an isek isekai. What the heck was it? I just did a video video on it not too long ago. DC is putting out some Swamp Thing Omnis. Do you guys like Swamp Thing by Alan Moore? Original color or recolor? Dom? I prefer the original, which is the reason to why I haven't gotten the absolutes yet. Hmm. I have the, <laughs> there's a reason why I have the hardcovers and the absolutes, because I love the original colors. That's the way I remember them. But I also love 
oversized artwork so i have the absolutes for that's that yeah but man that's that's the only thing that's like because i i have like three absolutes um you know i own three absolutes mm -hmm. and i love the just like oversized format of like it's bigger than the regular oversize we get at omnis and it would be honestly awesome just to have absolute swamp thing at some point um but man yeah, the the original colors for me though, I, I love the the old ones because that's that's the way I read them first with the hard covers. Tatiana uh, Wood, right? Like uh, Wally Wood's wife mm -hmm. was the original colorist on that. I will say this though, if you've never read them, there's nothing wrong with reading them with the new colors. You have no nostalgia mm -hmm. for the original colors. Like Neil Gaiman's Sandman, it's the same way. They haven't reprinted the original colors of Sandman in over what? The 2007, I think, was the last time they reprinted the what we call the rainbow collection, mm -hmm. the different color of the hardcovers. So, you know, unless you enjoy them and that's the way you want to remember them, there's nothing wrong with owning the new colors in the absolute edition because you're still re it's pretty much it's the same story. I'm going to make a pro Omar YouTube channel where I shield for Omar and attack all his critics. <laughs> I don't believe you, Ryan. <laughs> Why did they recolor? I don't know. Modernization of color sometimes it's like, hey, we'll get new readers this way. I feel like that's what uh, X Men 2.0 was. Uh, they were trying, I, was it Alex Sinclair? Who did the colors in that one? Um, and it's really pretty, but it's not the way that you remember it. And I don't think the way it went the way that Marvel uh, thought it was going to go. So they went with the classic colors for the Omnibus Edition. You think after Taylor wraps up his Nightwing run, it will get an omnibus edition? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably after they sell the hardcovers and trades. That magazine size Savage Conan was hard to read because of the paper and made the art look horrible. Couldn't get through it. Oh, I kind of had a feeling they would get a backlash for it. But I mean, in the in the state of the world we live in, where they're trying to keep prices down and paper just keeps going up. I mean, I don't know. I guess they could charge more for uh, thicker paper or matte paper, maybe. Recolor. Dark Horse Recolor was a crime, but most Recolor I'm a fan of. Dark Horse. On, on which book, Josh? What book did, do you not like that Dark Horse put out that they recolored? Which of the Mighty Thor Omnis 1 through 4 have new spines? 1, one and 4. Two and three have not been reprinted yet. About Batman Year One, original new colors. Ooh, that's a tough one. Because I thought the new colors... I think that what, what, what happened with that one, Phil, is the new colors have been such a big part of my life that I had forgotten about the single-issue colors. Because they recolored them for the trade paperback so long ago. Honestly, probably as old as Dom is. That's how long ago that's been recolored. Uh, that it's been a it's been a bigger part of my life than when I owned the original issues. So that's a good question. So I think I would go with new colors. They're subtle enough, right? They're not like they're not like the colors in Bernie Wright or not Bernie Wrights, and I think uh, that was uh, Jose Villarubia. They're not like the colors in the uh, Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. I think Security. I'm going to have to go with new ones for that as well. Security blanket from Snoopy was added as a real word also. Oh, that's cute. What's up, Ben? Maze World 2080 Grant and Ranson would totally fit in the Isekai framework. Yeah, there's so much that is um uh that uh that is Isekai now because we have that terminology. I own the OG colors of Sandman. Oh, those are rough. I don't, yeah, I don't mind the recolors of Sandman, and I like the OG colors, but that's also what I grew up reading. Can someone please tell me the trade paperback reading order of McKay's Doctor Strange? Isn't it Death of Doctor Strange? Let's, the... let's see. Let's test Dom out. Let's see him. Go ahead, Dom. Death Death of Doctor Strange trade paperback, because that's what it kicks uh, kicks off the run. Yeah. You would get There's also Companion. Yep, they got the Companion for that as well. You got Strange Volume One and Two, which is the clear run of Doctor. No Strange. spoilers. Yep. Yep. You're good, you're good. And uh, the regular Doctor Strange ongoing that's coming out right now from Marvel. Which has had two volumes so far. Yeah. Well, good job. You passed the test. That was my other account asking that question, Dom, so I could quiz you. <laughs> Thank Just you. Just kidding. 
Oh, the Conan recolors of of Dark Horse. Is that what you meant? Yes. Uh, the yes. Uh, that was what they also did with Red Sonia in the uh, Dynamite Omnibus, which comes from the hardcovers and trade paperbacks. And a lot of people were not happy with that one. That one's uh, those were bad. But who knows? Maybe one day they'll touch them up. Look, Kane is my right hand. Thank you, uh, Kane. Okay, here we go. And if you live in Europe and you're interested in picking up big books from Marvel and DC, check out waltzcomicshop.com. They have flat shipping rates for 12 euros for all EU countries, and all emails are answered within 24 hours. And exclusively for you minties, they have a code you can use at the checkout, near mint condition, all one word. You get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order of over 40 euros or more. And... Every month they have books of the month, meaning that they give you an additional discount on these books if you pre-order them. Right now they're doing the Green Lantern Corps by Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason, Volume 2. That's 99 uh, euros. And then X-Men Extinction Agenda, Omnibus, both the Direct Market and Standard Edition are 79 euros and 99 cents. And then Vinland Saga, Volume 3, is 37 euros and 50 cents. And that's Walt's Comic Shop. A reliable source for omnis and collected editions in Europe. Ding! So, there you go. <laughs> you, you did it. I haven't read Nemesis yet, but I was wondering what specifically about the writing of the story you didn't like. I respect your opinion and don't want to waste my time. I'm oh, poorly written. You should read it for yourself, Jack. You know what I'm going to say. I don't. I don't like stories when they're edgy for the sake of being edgy. And here's my thing. I think this is just me personally. I outgrew that era of my life. Like if I read it when I was younger, like when I was like 12, 13, I would have been like, oh, this is so this is, this is what Batman should have been. This is so cool. But that came out when I was in my 30s and I was like, no, <laughs> like this is stupid. Um, I, 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 that is my personal opinion. It was just edgy for the sake of being edgy. The way it was marketed was awful. Like, why? I, I don't understand. But I it's got pretty artwork. I will say that. It's got Steve McNevin on artwork. And I always suggest to people to read it for themselves because they may end up enjoying something out of it that I didn't. Omar, with all these announcements, still no Man of Steel Superman by John Byrne or Batman post-crisis. One day, brother. One day. Because they know we want it. We will. What's up, Kingsport Count? I can make a show on own network called Broke Issues where I review old flop puppies. I would never help Omar. <laughs> you jerk! You just had to throw that in there. Uh, recolors are weird. Uh, weird me out, but if it's in the spirit of bringing the original vision of the artist colorist closer to reality, I'm general, uh, generally positive about it. The uh, Jose Villarubia's colors are um, phenomenal on the Corbin stuff and in the Bernie Wrightson and Len Wein absolute edition if you haven't had a chance to check it out uh he's very critical about modern colors because he is a colorist like he's an amazing colorist but he it, his work is so good and it's like in that spirit of the original releases morning at mc hope everyone's doing well today Need more absolute gallery library bigger to better. Just spent almost twelve hundred dollars on two pair of progressives and extras. I require going to need artist edition size in my sixties. Oh, Bruce, what we need back is the monster size books that Marvel was putting out. <laughs> they were huge. Here's a question. I'll let Dom handle this one. See what, how well he does it. Ultimate Spider-Man question, Dom. If I get Omnis 1 through 4 and Death of, is there a need for a Volume 5? Thanks. Loving all the show content. Thank well, you, Rising Phoenix. What do you think, Dom? It's interesting because Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 4 collects up to issue 15 of the relaunch, correct? And the next issue, 150 right after that, is in the Death of Spider-Man Omnibus. So my question is, I guess a re-question back to you, Omar, is will we need a Volume 5 if Volume 5 is just going to be Death of Ultimate Spider-Man? No. Exactly. Because we don't know how it's going to be mapped. That's the problem. But I all I know is that... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, I was told 
they already have it mapped differently. Mm -hmm. When it comes out, I don't know. And that differently could be, oh, they're replacing 20 issues. Or it's or one issue that's making a difference. I don't know. I, I wish I did. But at least we know that they do have plans for making a volume five. So I don't know if you're like, you know, some people love to have the entire line and a uniform look. And others are like, eh, I don't care. I know what I know what this is. This goes right mm -hmm. between Ultimate Four and Miles Morales. Or I got if you this. just want that death of all those death of uh, Ultimate Spider-Man issues and not care for the rest. I mean, people could also prefer that too. So I think it really comes up to preference and taste uh, for how you want your shelf mapped and and sorted out. Omar, have you heard Batman Fugitive? Yeah, Fugitive Murder. It's in the catalog, which we'll be going over tomorrow live on this channel i'm trying to round up a crew never read the story is it any good i loved it it started with the batman 10 cent adventure where batman is accused or i'm sorry i'm sorry not batman where bruce wayne is accused of being uh murdering somebody it's got some killer artwork you gotta like scott mcdaniel though i know he's not everybody's cup of tea um but the writing is i really dug it greg ruck <laughs> of course greg ruck is doing his own thing so a lot of it is like what does this have to do with Batman being an outlaw? There's a bird person in here. And who is this chick? Is she going to play a big part later on? It turns out Sasha kind of does. in, But it's not until the OMAC project. And it's not until Checkmate that she plays a bigger part. But uh, yeah, I really dug this. I, I dug that crossover. Hey, Omar, did they push back the Simonson Thor reprint? They did. It is coming out on June the 11th, which you can check out for yourself at comicreleases.com, where we man. have literally every single collected edition update to the date. Uh, and you can have your own watch list for $2 on our Patreon as well. Look at that. My man, Dom, coming in with knowledge. So to Dom and Omar, if you could pick one book, Marvel or DC, to be recolored, what would it be and why? Do you have a spreadsheet? <laughs> Is that what you're looking at, Doc? Trying to figure out if I can find. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> if I point. could pick one book from Marvel and DC to be recolored, this is a tough one. But I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of with Peter on the Jim Lee recolor, uh, the X Men 2.0. I really dug the internal colors of that book. So if we do that, but not to X Men, let's think outside the box. If you do that to Punisher War Journal. Ooh, ooh, that would, oh, yeah, oh, that would look so good, especially when Scott Williams comes on board and does the inking. That would that would be my one to test it on, or I guess some some of the black and white stories that they printed. What about you, Dom? It's a good question because I mean, most of the comics that have either gotten like re like refurbished, recolored, like were ones that I grew up with uh, that came out in the two thousands. Like they like remastered some of the color work. Like if you look at the Teen Titans, like by Jeff Johns issues, like, as I owned those back in the day and when the Omni came out, it's like, Oh, like they're, they're higher grade. They're, they're mastered better. Um, so I guess for me, it would be like a completely different story. It's actually a good question. I've never had to think about like, uh, like what series I would have um, recolor. Cause most of the like editions that I read, um, when I came in in 2011, when I was like in middle school, um, but why'd you do that? You didn't have to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, that's a good question. I've never had to think about that. I'll get back to you on that, Phil. Phil, I didn't take you for one that would be into recoloring. How about the age old question? Killing Joe colors, which one classic for me, but that was the stuff I grew up reading. So classic. What about you, Dom? I think I think classic because a friend of mine at the comic shop lent me his uh, copy of like the second or first or second uh, printing of Killing Joke. Always preferred the older ones to the newer. We're not um, we're not allowed to ban uh, Bar or or Kane. By the way, <laughs> those are the two people on the stream that can't get banned. Kane because Kane's a great human being. Bar because for some reason she just finds a way to come back. I don't know how. What's up, Justin? Good morning, my friend. And Dawn, too, I guess. Is the story where the D Riddler dabbles in the occult against Batman collected? Um, That was a little bit in the... Oh, what was that trade paperback? The year one collections of Poison Ivy, Riddler, 
uh, but not fully. Miller wrote one comic book I really liked, Kick A. Sadly, that made me read Nemesis, Jupiter's Legacy, and more. <laughs> I hated all of them. Uh, yeah. By the way, I'm just censoring because this is the Saturday morning stream, and there are kids that watch this stream. At night, it's a free game, baby. <laughs> Although they can watch it in the morning and be like, I thought this was a family-friendly channel. <laughs> that ain't on me. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I like the Chrononauts. I thought Chrononauts was fun. And if and you could tell the whole creative team had fun making that. And my buddy Alex mentioned earlier, he's the <laughs> he's the Michael Bay of comics. And I thought Chrononauts would have been a fun Michael Bay movie. Just two dudes being bros and traveling through time. Yeah. That's got bad boys written all over it. Dom is surrounded by the green. Poison <laughs> Ivy confirmed. My room is uh, more unimpressive than a lot of my uh, peers and cohorts. And it is also partly a mess. So that's why I have a green screen on today. <laughs> Omar has moved past things like Nemesis, which is dope. I mean... I'm, I would never judge anybody for liking it if that's your cup of tea. And honestly, I would have loved it too as a 12, 13-year-old, but I was in my 30s when it came out, and I'm just – like Kevin Smith movies. I can see why new people wouldn't like Kevin Smith movies like Clerks or Mallrats. But to me, I love them, and they were like a big part of me growing up. Like that was Gen X humor. Um, But once you get to be a certain age, if I had never seen that Kevin Smith movie, I'm watching it for the first time in my 30s or 40s, I would have been like, this is stupid. Uh, with how beloved Taylor's Nightwing has been and knowing it's coming to an end, what other beloved Taylor would you like? Oh, beloved character, would you like to see him take over? Personally, I'm pulling for Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, he did such a good job on Spider-Man and Friendly Neighborhood. I'd like to see him take a swing at Spidey. That would be cool. I think he has a DC exclusive still, though. I think that's the that's the thing that's holding him over. Yeah, that doesn't last long. Look at all these exclusives, man. Before you know it, they're gone. Exclusives <laughs> are very important, by the way, uh, for people that don't know a little behind the scenes. Like they get their insurance and things like that. Most people, that's why they want exclusives, because especially. You know, living in America, insurance is a huge plus if you're an independent artist. What's your opinion on the Ghost Machine stuff? If you read any, all I've read was Geiger before it was Ghost Machine and the talent. Oh my gosh. It's like he's. Jeff Johns is just friends with talented people, and I'm, I'm all for it. I'll, I'll read all of them. I love no. I loved um. Gosh, I love Geiger. I also love Junkyard Joe. Like two hits so far, and I can't wait for the rest of the line. Like, man, you got Ivan Race, Brian Hitch, Jason Fabok, and Gary Frank. Like all under like your tent. Like that's he just brought all of his like big artist friends over to do indie stuff with them, which I think is pretty awesome. You know, I kind of feel the same way about the Killing Joe. People speak of it as it's the best thing ever. I read 25 years after the fact. That's slightly above average Batman. Yeah, I think it depends on when you read it, right? I get it. Happy Saturday, beautiful people. What's up, Barb? Oh, my new book came out with Pat Mills. Talking about Doctor Who, an entire book of that. Uh, was that released by... Who? who uh, is it Titan? How's everybody doing? Melanie is prepping for our trip. That's what she's doing. Dom, when are you going to take out Omar for us? Where are you, you going to take me, Dom? I'm Ooh, a big fan of Italian food. Uh, they got a lot of really good uh, food food restaurants in San Francisco I'd like to take you to. There you go. So hashtag, he's down with Omar, Josh. Uh, thank you for that, Dom. Hey, Dom and Omar, hope you all have been having a What's good What's up, Iz? Iz is a fan and friend of mine, so hello to oh, you. Cool. You're doing well. I, I've been having a, a good, surprisingly having to work around the schedule of people that are working on our house and doubling up on videos because I'm going out of town next week. I haven't broken yet. And my eyes healed. Maybe that's why I put things in perspective. I'm like, oh, my eyes doing good. Life is good. Hey, Omar, do you think Titan will finally release their Savage Sword of Conan and Conan Omnis this summer? Or will they release the, or will the, the I asked. I haven't heard a word back yet. Because new books have shown up in the catalog. 
which really surprises me because I thought, let's put the focus all on this and then we'll worry about announcing books. They're still slated for July 2nd and 16th, but again, they can always yeah. move back and forth whenever they decide to actually push it out. Dude, Kingsport Cal, you're a you're a March baby. Well, happy birthday to you, brother. March babies are best babies. So good to see you, man, and happy birthday, my brother. So Ultimate Spider-Man Five could be an expanded version of all the previous content with the Prelude X Men that <laughs> replaces volume, like the Prelude X Men. No, I don't think so. I don't think it will have like the Avengers, the uh, Ultimates versus Ultimate New Avengers. That that won't be added to it. I think it will just be Ultimate Spider-Man. And a couple of other issues that were not previously collected in there or series. People were speculating maybe Marvel Ultimate Marvel team up, but that doesn't really add up with that time. So if they thought about it ahead of time, maybe they have something. Dude, what's up, Sentinel Comics? This is my buddy. If you're into single issues, go and check him out. He has some um, great auctions on. I think you're still dealing in Facebook, right? Team here at Central Comics, we're getting ready to set up a Georgia Comic Con. What's up? Anybody going to Georgia Comic Con? Anyone else getting their Savage Sword Conan's coming in kind of beat up? Did anyone hear if there was a printing error? I had one of my phenomenal, wonderful viewers send me a copy, so I don't know if there were printing errors on it or not. That's something I haven't heard. Omar, read the Batman, the Col Batman the Cult. He made Batmobile into a monster truck with a turret. Ah, that book is awesome. Oh, the the Walter Simonson stuff? Yeah. Surprisingly, nothing that DC had announced had me really managed to get excited. But I'm happy that it seems that their collected editions department is finally working. And working on overtime, not just reprints, right? They're working on no, I got a lot of new books in there as well, man. Is Wonder Woman getting any new reprints? Nothing. That's what surprises me. There's no George Pettis Volume 2 or 3. There's and no Phil Jimenez. No F Phil Jimenez. But who knows? What are your thoughts on the, on the Invincible ending? No spoilers? It's one of my favorite series. Top 10 still to this day at Image Comics. And the ending was rushed. I think it could have done with one more book and it would have been a really good solid ending and I would have been happy with that. But it just seemed like it was really rushed. And But Kirkman does that? Like he did that with Walking Dead? And it's not like, I don't. I would like to think that he, he didn't know what the ending was going to be and he just kind of winged it. But it felt like he was like, yeah, I'm done. I don't, I'm, I don't need to write anymore. Invincible. That's what it felt like to me. That's with no spoilers. But I still think it's a great book. 275 watching and only 28 likes. Well, thank you for that, Read Comics. Everybody smash that like button, please. That goes a long way for us. What did Bar do? I can ban this channel. Unsubscribe. My man, Kingsport Cow, just wished him a happy birthday, and now he's unsubscribing. Thank you for that, Kingsport Cow. <laughs> hey, guys, Omar, ordering the German version after your never-ending story review. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I found it to be a, almost like a completely different movie. I love that movie. It's one of my childhood favorite movies. But watching the German version for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh. They're made of sterner stuff over there because this whole movie has a different tone. Omar, if you want to make sure people can't ban or time out Bar and Kane, you might want to make them a mod. Okay, I will do that. Omar, are they ever going to make any more Marvel event hardcovers? Dom, what do you think? Uh, probably only omnibuses for now. How big those events are nowadays. Uh, get rushed to get the you know regular trade paperbacks, and if they have any tie-ins, they're going to put those in those companion trade paperbacks, and then make them all into a massive giant omnibus. So I think that's what they have planned in for the future. It's a good answer. That's a good answer. I think it's because of the cells of the omnibus editions that. The overhead on making an oversized hardcover is probably not enough to make a good profit on it. And looking at the comparison with the Omnis. And honestly, Ryan, and this is for anybody that's watching. This is just me coming out completely honest. When I do polls, whenever I do videos, 
it's the omnis that get people to watch it's the omnis that people vote on unfortunately the epic collections are a fraction of what the omni cells are and a fraction of what like views are or 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 votes it's crazy because i thought oh people like to save money they like trade paperbacks there i think there is such a thing as a collector mentality when it comes to these things that you get old enough you're like well no i want the best version of this story in the best possible format but we've seen that in the Bruce can probably attest to this uh, in the uh, movies, right? Like if you look at movie genre, like people, if you like a movie, people will import movies from overseas or Arrow movies that have like limited edition sets. You're paying, you know, sixty to eighty to a hundred dollars sometimes for these movies that you can get the standard edition for for a fraction of the cost. But because it means something to you and you want it in your collection. And I'm the same way when it comes to anime. Like when Evangelion came out, like there had three different choices. You get the blue, blue, uh, Blu-ray standard set, the mid-grade one, which was like almost 150, and then the big box. Yeah. So I get it. What was the question? I don't even remember. Smash that like button, Ryan. That was my question. Bert, thank you so much, my brother. Thanks to the two members of our Discord chat. I'm about to read my first Marvel comic since October 2022. Marvel Knights Punisher, my first time reading Punisher. Oh, welcome back, Frank. Bert is one of my favorites. You're in for a treat, brother. And I hope you've been well. I haven't seen you for a minute, man. I know you've, you've got to be busy. Bert's a good dude. So I'm glad that the Discord was able to help you, my brother. And that is found on our Patreon. You can check it out by heading to the description of the video. Any chance of Judge Dredd Omnibus Editions or Oversized Hardcover? They actually have some hardcovers of the case files. I don't know how many they went through. Super Laugh Hard, you here, buddy? My man would know. Or Parts Works? Those guys would know. Dom making me feel old saying he was like, yeah, he throws that in there for my sake, too. <laughs> 2011. Hi, Omar, do you know if DC's Finest will have a numbering on the back cover like the Epics do? They they don't have a numbering. They have, they, they have the years on the spine. And, and on the spine. So we're very excited to talk about that. Uh, we're going to be doing that uh, tomorrow. Kevin Smith movies are a product of their time. Personally, I enjoy most of them. Clarks is still my favorite. Ooh, this is a tough one. I actually, uh, I got to go with Mallrats. Mallrats is my favorite. That still has one of my favorite quotes. I think as a guy reads comics, he can't start some. <laughs> Dang, Omar, you crapping on Gen X humor? No, absolutely not. I love it. I'm just saying, like, Kane, I can see. Well, look, dude, I also don't like. I don't like, like, The Hangover. I think when The Hangover came out, like, I wasn't into that type of humor. So. I don't know if that's really Gen X humor, though. That's kind of a mix between millennial and Gen X humor. I was just checking out of that department. I still find it funny. What are you talking about, man? I just did my, like, favorite comedies. Like, nothing, but it was full of Gen X humor, like Naked Gun and Mel Brooks films. That was our humor. Omar is slow on the chat without my shut up, Bar. I just said you couldn't be banned. <laughs> the killing joke sucks. Only because Harley Quinn wasn't in it. Magic Order was shaping up to be a book I got behind. Beautiful art, not edgy. And then big game happened and it was bad. Was that a crossover? I, I don't know what that is. Any chance we get a killing smoke smoke where it tells the tale between Batman and CW favorite Felicity Smoke? What's Arya talking about? Oh, there oh, he's talking about the um the oh, arrow show, fun. which has Felicity Smoke in it. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the like the first three seasons. You know, the funny that. part about the Arrow show is that the top episodes are the ones where uh on IMDb are the ones where Felicity almost dies. So take of that what you will. Oh my god, I am behind. Uh the eye is the fastest healing organ. True story. Did you learn that from a comic book, Roberto? Wait, he was in the military. He might know this. Alabama Comic Con in two weeks here. Super Mario and Peach voices. Some Star Trek cast, Chris Claremont, Bluey's. I love that Chris Claremont is right in the middle of all this. Uh, Bluey's voice, Zach from Saved by the Bell, Tara Strong, Little Karate Kid from Last Dragon, etc. We sharing birthdays. Mine was yes, dude. Happy birthday, man! That's what. Where's Melanie? She should be down here singing all these birthdays. Um, my New York Knicks lost even 
follow. I, the that's true. I, I watched some of that game. I, I feel on you, Roberto. <laughs> Dude, your son didn't text you for your birthday or because the Knicks lost? Or both. And happy birthday, my brother. Always happy to see you here. Hey, Omar, any update on the Marvel team-up issue? No. I I know they're busy for the next couple of weeks, so I probably won't be hearing back from them about certain things like additions. But I promise I did ask. Hello, Omar. How's it going? What are you guys reading next this weekend? I just finished reading Spider-Man India. It's for my video that comes out on Tuesday, and I'm finishing up Daredevil Epic Collection. Um, is it Concrete Jungle? I think that's the one that I'm on. And that'll be the last book I read this weekend that I'm ready to go uh, on my trip to DC with the new Swamp Thing by Miller Solicit. Have you guys read his run? And what do you think about it? Honestly, he's like the last person I expect to write the character. That's that's what I felt like, honestly, is when, when I read Miller's Swamp Thing back, gosh, a couple of years ago. Because it didn't, there were elements of it that did not feel like swampy at all. <laughs> I wasn't the biggest fan. I'm glad that Swamp Thing is getting an omnibus. Um, I'm surprised. I know that Miller and Morrison had a bit of a falling out. So I'm curious if Morrison asked for his name to be taken off of those first six issues that he co or they co plotted with uh, Miller. So I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of that run. Have you read the original Never Ending Story novel? I have. I loved it, man. My I got my wife a hardcover copy of it, like a with the Orin on it. It's beautiful. Why did DC Collected Editions get so much hate? Marvel not putting out OHC. It's um, it, it, it's it's a it's a history, and it's not hate. It's because I think a lot of us come from the place of we love DC and we want to see them succeed, and competition is always good. I think it's it's a long history of cancellations, leaving out books, uh, prices being all over the place, which, of course, Marvel is also guilty of. Um, but the biggest one was the cancellations. That broke a lot of people's heart. They had a long streak, and I mean a long streak. Not sure how long you've been collecting Booster Green, but I'm talking a two-and-a-half-year streak of putting things in the catalog and then canceling them. And things that broke our heart, like Superman by John Byrne, Omnibus. I'm not going to say who's excited for that, but there were a couple of us at least. Mm -hmm. um, but other things have come and shown up five, four to five years later. Mm -hmm. Like things that we were like, like that Hush Omnibus, that thing was in the catalog four and a half years ago, and it came out. So there's always hope. Um, and, it, and it's also the fault of YouTubers and podcasters mm -hmm. that drive this false information to people about dc like i remember on my show it when we did the saturday stream starting in 2020 that summer people were like yo man is it true dc's closing its doors or marble buying dc or dc's not going to do any more single issues because they're not printing anymore remember they were shut down for like mm -hmm. two and a half weeks three weeks pencils down that was a thing and me, I try to get the information before I say anything. Before I give out, the last thing I want to do is give misinformation on, especially when it comes to sensitive subjects like that, because these are people's lives that, you know, their jobs. So a lot of that is just that long history of DC, just with bad decisions. Also, not out of the things that are completely out of their control when they lost about 60% of the workforce which also happened around that time of the pandemic. Because yeah, so. a lot of it for me was like frustration, like looking on it as an outsider, even before I started working for comicreleases.com, it was always like, they're always putting something out or supposedly, and then next thing you know, um, I know this was true for like the DC Essentials editions and some trade paperbacks I was looking to buy, they immediately canceled. It's like Aquaman by Peter David volume three isn't coming out. Uh, the Essential Death of the, Death of the Family New 52 isn't coming out. So for me, it was a lot of like, they're, they, they say something that might look cool, but then the frustration lays on where it's like it's never coming out or it's never being published. So that's when, like for the last three years, like we see, oh, they're finally like putting out these Omnis and coll uh, collected editions. Um, it's like, man, like they're actually, it feels like they have uh, a spin and, and control on things where it felt like it didn't have, uh, it wasn't there before. Um, so that's just me and, and my, um, 
I guess my take and and look as someone who was on the outside before and like, oh, what the heck are they doing not putting these out? Yeah, so I hope that helps explain why, you know, a lot of people were so frustrated. And now it seems like, you know, faith is coming back, especially with these strong catalogs that we've been seeing for the last the last two times. I think it's the security that you get with an Omni, one purchase and you have the whole run. No chance of delays between volumes, cancellations, change in format you can get with OHCs. Oh, that always heart breaks my heart. Uh, Omar, I was reading the Hive, Man, Hive Minds cap run, and the art was so gorgeous. Oh, that's the one with uh, Carmen, Carmenero, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I checked the artist, and it was Carmen, the person you were raving about on Exceptional X-Men. I hope the her art is gorgeous. She's a, she's a phenomenal artist, and I'm glad she's getting her due. Like, being on a top-tier book, even though it's out of the three, right? Probably the one that's not going to sell the most, but it's still an X-Men book. Um, I am not mean. I am just drawn that way. <laughs> Omar, I'm being bullied by your mods. They're abusing their power. Which ones? Point them out, Bar. <laughs> Arrow and Shout has been great for 4K releases. Yes, Arrow is killing it, but also a little pricey, right? But in a world where Best Buy and Walmart are no longer <laughs> carrying physical releases, we're lucky to still have companies like that. Omar, Logan Wayne's disappointed. Omar skipped it. What did I skip? What, what did I skip? There's like a lot of questions. What did I skip, Logan? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, uh, Catherine, I understood that reference. Okay, okay. One issue I have with a lot of Image and Boom comics is that a lot of them feel like TV show pitches, and I hate that. It's not an issue for Face with a Blaze or a Hoy comics or even old indies. I'm not going to say any names, but I can attest to one publisher that I know for a fact that exists to this day to just be an IP farm. People pitch stories to them. They know what they are. And when you go to conventions, you're wondering, why are they spending so much money on this much space? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you say if you keep an eye out, that you'll definitely, you'll definitely know who it is. And I actually enjoy quite a number of their titles. But it, there is no denying it, even within the creators, that it is nothing but an IP farm, which makes me sad because it's no longer about the medium of, of, of comics, right? Now it's like, I'm just going to write this because I'm already thinking it's going to be a movie and it's going to be an animated series. And that breaks my heart because that's not the way this should be. Or at least in my head, maybe I'm just being delusional. That's not what comics means to me, right? Like, how it should be written, that you're going to become an overnight millionaire because you're going to sell your IP to a studio. Omar hates the hangover, but loves hangover. No, I don't like any of the hangover. How are you, brother? Uh, I answered that one, so I'm going to get to the. I'm going to get to the bottom here. And we got all these birthdays here. Went by my local comic book store yesterday and picked up Ultimate Spider-Man 3, Superior Spider-Man 5, and X-Men 97 1. Can't Ultimate Spider-Man 3 is so good, Richard. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> and X-Men 97 is written by my good friend Steve Fox. Uh, he's he's had a lot of drawn in and, and work done on that series, so I hope you really enjoy it too. I like uh, a lot of the stuff that he's written. Who are the junior men's favorite Ninja Turtles? Lydia had the biggest crush on Donnie when she was little. She had like every Donnie toy and action figure. She still has her first one, which is still on her bed. It's adorable. And Alicia likes Michelangelo. The party dude. Which makes me worry about her. Uh, Lots of pizza, though. Well, yeah, that's right. Oh, right. Omar, haven't been hanging in the live chats for these few months, but is there any news about the latest Omnipole? The latest news is we have over 1,300 votes, my brother, so I hope you voted. You do. Um, We'll be tallying up the votes next Friday and then a live stream. I'm going to try to do it on Wednesday or Thursday of the following week. So the second week of May. And then we can start focusing on the DC most wanted reprint Omnis. Because as much as I have all that lack of contact with DC, I do still have contacts at DC that I will send them to. And I'm just going to start it with free market research. That will be my subject line. And they can do whatever they want to with that information. Put me on ignore or whatever. Why does everybody have birthdays? Well, Bar, I don't know how the education system is where you're from, but apparently it's failed you. Uh, because when a man meets a woman, 
You could go Google it. You could go and Google that. You're traveling to DC, my home. You live in DC or like Alexandria? Where where do you live? Omar and Dom, if they gave you one day at the DC Collection Editions Department, what is the top five books you're collect uh, looking to get printed? Uh, Dom, why don't you go first? Top five. I'd love to get New Gotham uh, by Greg Rucka and Anomni. That's one for Still sure. Uh, man, a lot of them that like I wanted to get printed, like Green Lantern Corps already came out. Shoot, man. Don, I'd like to be on the spot. Come on, you got this. You got this. Ba you Batman, got this. Batman by Tom King, Omni Volume One. There you go. Okay. Got I'm gonna go go again with Batman. Batman by James Tynan. Um, Robert Venditti, Green Lantern. Get the New Fifty Two and the. Uh, See, Rebirth. there's your brain. Rebirth in. And there you uh, go. Sam Humphrey's uh, Green Lantern's Rebirth run. Love it. See, that's quick, Dom. All you needed was that ignition. You got it. That's the way the brain is, man. Good choices. Good choices. Batman, Batman by Mike King, I'm sure will come. Um, John Byrne, Man of Steel. Been waiting for that one for a long time. William Messer loves on Wonder Woman. Been getting some love for William Messer loves, so we're getting a flash run. So there's hope for that. Um, probably uh, the Supergirl by Peter David. That'd be a good one. Batman Year One, Year Two, and oh, man. One more. There's so many. There are. Uh, Outsiders. Outsiders by Judd Winnick. Oh, yeah, that's a good. I'll throw in Green Arrow by Judd Winnick, too. I was actually hoping that that DC yeah, Spinus would start there. But this was. Is... That's a good one. I'm about to give Twenty something on something. I didn't know if she had to talk. I didn't know if she had to talk yet. Um. My top five would be five volume collection of the 80s pre crisis Batman by Jerry Conway and Doug Mensch because nostalgia. And I think a lot of it has to do with nostalgia, right? Although I still read modern comics, I, I, I like a lot of the modern comics that I've been reading. Some of them surprise me. Target is about to give up on physical media, too. Ah, that leaves Amazon and smaller types. Unfortunately, physical has about five years left based on what I hear. I mean, if you think about it, whenever you have like the PlayStation 5 that comes with the option of a disk drive for more money or just straight up being a digital box, it's not a good sign for us physical folks. But physical media for life, baby. William Messer's Lobes Flash is my favorite. It's so funny. Oh, man, I'm so glad you liked this, Wally. I did too. It's very, under, very, very underrated writer. I was a big fan of his Wonder Woman. I actually like this Thor run. I know people didn't dig it because it was wrapped up with the 90s but i kind of dug what he was trying to do there if i have one day to help dc collected editions department i would do an all-star squadron omnibus because david gabriel wants that <laughs> and that way i can hold out against him and get a daredevil ohc volume five what just did what a weird way to come around then uh, there's been like 200 March birthdays. Mine is nowhere near March. I feel like I'm the only one right now. No, no, no. It's just all the best people you know are born in March, Craig. That's what's going on. Dan Jurgens Rebirth Omni. That's a good one. I like that. Omar, are there any vegetarian or vegan X-Men? I'm imagining a world in which the phrase to meet my X-Men becomes a standout. A standard because, uh, but I don't know if I can quite work. Um. I don't know who would be a vegetarian. I, it would have to be somebody like who's who, who's a hipster in the X Men. Maybe like no. This is a hard question. I never thought maybe Jean. She's a little extra. She's not right? a vegan. I don't see her being a vegan. Vegetarian probably though. I will say this is one of the most interesting questions I've had on the Saturday stream. It's definitely off the wall. I'll say that. Yeah, look, look, look. <laughs> um, maggot. Yeah, maggot. I don't know. That's a hard question. New Spoo channel. We are getting collections of Rick's Swamp Thing and trade paperback, though. And it's also partly in the Jamie Delano Hellblazer Omni. Yeah, because a lot of it cross crosses over because you got the hellblazer stuff in that swampy collected in the hellblazer omni 
Okay, here we go. Woo. Big Stu Orlando. Hey, Omar, ask Dom. <laughs> What's upcoming on the bestest channel ever this week? Um, well, I, we didn't go over my schedule because I'm gonna, it's kind of we're gonna play it by ear, so we'll be going over the rest of my schedule the, the following week. Uh, so I could tell you tomorrow will be my top 10 most wanted or must buys or essential reads for the month of April. Uh, and then in the afternoon, evening, probably around 7 p.m., 6 p.m. or so, uh, we're going to go over the entire DC catalog, the El Device catalog, to look at the new books and talk about the books. And then Monday will be my overview of Daredevil Omnibus Volume 3, followed up with uh, the Rocketeer overview that I've had for two, three months now. And for some reason, I forgot I had it, so I need to get that out. Tuesday will be the Marvel Trades. I believe Maddie's doing an old reader, new reader. Wednesday is my overview of Absolute Luther and Absolute Joker. Uh, the new printing. Thursday is the Invincible Oversized Hardcover. And Melanie's overview of something. What was it? She was telling me about it. Oh, the Rat Queens, I think. She wants to do that. And then Friday is my hard, uh, Dark Horse Hardcover overviews. So that's that's what's up. That's the, Thank you so much for asking, man. And yes, Physical Media for Life. That's where we at. Omar, do you know if they've announced Namor Epic 2? No, no, no. Not yet. We got a 3, though, so it's a start. Why am I holding up two fingers? There we go. Suicide Squad by John Ostrander Omnibus. That's up, that's up there, man. That's a top 20 for me. Both my grandparents were born in March. Greatest people I know. Omar's right. My man. Omar, don't you eat meat tomorrow? What is your first dish? I don't know. I never thought about I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'm going back to meat tomorrow because Lent is over. Easter has come. And I've been quoting the Lord of the Rings. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Scott, see, I thought about Scott Summers being a vegetarian, but I'm like, he's a little too ripped for that. I don't know. Like, okay, vegetarian, yes. Vegan, probably not. Not that I don't think vegan people can't be ripped. I think there's some research that needs to be done for that. I'm reading Roan to Onslaught Tree. I never thought I'd hear Mark Zimmer say that. There's some really good material there, though I'm not sure I could justify the double dip. No, Mark. Mark, I like your Ludwig von Beethoven profile he runs, picture. He runs a website. Oh, okay. He runs the website on, on Beethoven. That is cool. I need to My five would be Legion Bronze Age, Volume 1, Warlord. Warlord. Great choice. All-Star Squadron, New Teen Titans, Volume 6, which may show up. Remember, that was in the catalog and got pulled. So hopefully, here's hoping that it shows up. And Golden Age Spectre. What's up, King Sport Cal? Thank you for the super chat, my brother. I bought my new phone. Tell all I fell my ghost in her. Her info didn't transfer over to my SIM card. Love the minty ladies. Happy birthday to you, Omar. I love that I am a afterthought after all the uh, love for the minty ladies. But I appreciate that, King Sport Cal. I appreciate that. Old reader, new reader, bone out of Boneville. Oh, that would be a good one. I like that book. What's up, Carl? Bob the Goon. Taking a break from a cybersecurity event to see the near mint family. Thank you so much for being here, brother. It's always good to see you pop up. Have you read or heard about the new Hellblazer Den America issues? They're fire. I it haven't is really read. good. It is really when good. Did the, when did this come out? The the series started back in January. It's coming out monthly. It's a nine issue series by Spurrier and Aaron Campbell. Oh, oh Spurrier's back to doing Hellblazer. Spurrier's back with Aaron Campbell to do some, some Hellblazer. Mm. It's pretty freaking good. I'm in for that. The next Evergreen, I believe, is going to be the Marvel Epics. I'm waiting on Curtis to decide on a day in April. So I'm very excited. And he is too. What are the chances of a Batman War Games Omni? Well, now that we know we're getting Fugitive and Murderer, very high. Looking forward to the Joker Lex Absolute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermejo. Also, this Wednesday, may or may be a real stock with Amanda if she has. <laughs> she was sending me videos yesterday because she knows how much I hate that cover of We Didn't Start the Fire. Oh, my gosh. And that's what they start their concert with. And I'm like, why are you doing this? When's the hall video? Oh, um, I filmed that one over a month ago, too. I think that drops next Sunday. Next Sunday. Gives me a little bit of a wiggle room. Can we expect the Miracle Man Omnibus Volume 2 soon? Dom, what do you think? Why, why not soon? Just out of curiosity. Am I allowed to legally answer this? <laughs> are you? 
<laughs> I don't know what that means. You haven't signed an NDA with me. You can answer whatever you want to. <laughs> oh, man. The author. Um... You talking about Gaiman? No, the other one. More? Yeah. Oh, I well, I mean, he's... all the more stuff is done. Gaiman, Gaiman would be the next volume, but he's he's not done yet. So I, I agree with you. It's it's a it's a no, not anytime soon, because we just got Golden Age, and we're going to go through the Silver Age, and then we still have the Dark Age to go through, and that will end the trilogy. So if that's what you're wondering, yeah, Carlos, it won't it won't be until he's finished, and who knows when that when that will be. Him and uh, Buckingham. All right, Dom. Here's a question you can't answer. Omar visits you in San Francisco. Will you be taking him on the real life Gotham tour, i.e., Tenderloin and Soma in I, the south of Market? Oh man, I feel Is like San, I feel like San Francisco. Like a trip with me and Omar would take two days just to get him to visit all the piers, all the different parts of San Fran, Cisco. Oh my gosh, there there are so many places I could take him out to. Um, like you know, like whenever we go to to San Francisco, you have to deal with two things. You got to deal with the Bay Bridge traffic, which is sometimes a B-I-T-C-H to get through. Um, and you also have to deal with uh, all of the traffic in this, because there are different parts of the city that do get clogged up with cars. And there are a lot of them. You got the cable cars. You got you got a whole bunch of stuff going there. But I'd love to do that, though, Bert. I would absolutely love to do that. I would like to be taken. Okay, okay, that actually makes sense, Edwin. M would be M a would vegan. Be. That's the one. That that's the one. Rahul is vegetarian and Indian. Tom Cruise. Really? Is he? Okay. Is he part of the X-Men? Man, I'm so late. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope I didn't miss any good discussions. Only about vegan X-Men. <laughs> morph a vegan. Now, I'm only dealing with comics here. Because uh, the morph in the comics is dead. Still dead. They didn't even bother resurrecting Morph in the comics. Or I guess Mimic. Hello, Omar and Dom. Just got the Hellboy Library Edition Volume 1. I'm planning to get the rest if I enjoy the series. Can you rate the whole series? Like, in its entirety, from Hellboy to Hellboy on Earth? That That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Or not 9.5. There is one volume that I, I kind of struggle to get through. Uh, and that's what was that volume three i think um and i'm sorry struggled is not the right word it was just not as good as the others but the others are so good what about you Dom? do you like all Hellboy? the material i've read i haven't read something that i haven't liked so okay they're good oh they the are. lore that he uses from different countries is just wonderful that's my kind of story he does a lot of research for that stuff I just read Flashpoint by Jeff Johns and was so refreshing to not have to wrap my head around curse words typed. Any more runs I can read that limit the symbols? Um, it depends on the letter. I love when the letter only uses like an asterisk to get rid of like one word or one letter. Uh, there was some 80s comics like that that when I was a kid, I was like, I know what that word is supposed to be. Boy, some editor didn't really uh, read, uh, read this at all. <laughs> Any idea if Doctor Strange Volume 3 is coming out? No word yet. Hey, guys, Epic Collection question. Do we know what's up with Star Wars Modern Era? Uh, is it Kanan? Is that how you say it? Can, uh, has appeared to be solicited and have an actual release date. It's originally scheduled for August. Dom, what's the latest? Do you see it? Um, it is. Yeah, it's a TBD date for comic release. We don't. We don't have it up. So I'll ask to... for a current. Uh, I'll see if my. Uh, I know David's super busy, and I know most of his team is busy, but I will see if my other contact will uh, will have something. So I will let you know. I like Williamson. Is Flash by Williamson any good? If you've liked everything else Williamson has written, yeah. yeah. I liked it. Yes, Bob the Goon teaches us a lesson. Never be the Joker's right-hand man. <laughs> what do I think of the Mur Murphy verse? So that's all the White Knight stuff, I believe Carlos is asking. 
Um, to be completely honest, it's fun. But I wish Sean Murphy would work with other writers too. That's my honest opinion. He's sworn off working with anyone else. He wants to write his own stories, and I respect that. But I really miss when Sean Murphy was drawing for... I think everybody has a story to tell. I get it. But he's an artist that works so well with Rick Remender and, and, and Grant Morrison that I wish that he would work with those creators again. Oh, Neil Shira was a vegetarian? Question mark. Thing, Wonder what record. animal Curtis will hit right before the live stream this time. <laughs> uh, so Omar is using Dom as a loophole. Am I? Loophole Dudley Moore? Demi Moore? I don't know. Who's the man who stands up for his fellow brother man? Uh, we stand up. We stand up for that. I thought Gaiman had finished the series already. The Bla uh, The Dark Ages? I don't think so. I think he just finished the Silver, right? I didn't think he was done yet. Yeah, he finished. I know he finished the seven uh, issue series that he was doing with Buckingham. Although that book, every single one of his issues has been delayed to heck. Um, yeah, I believe Blair. that. Yeah, the, the seven issue series is finished. Of the Dark Ages or the. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Whatever maybe the next year. Recent. Maybe next year then. Uh, Polaris a vegan. That actually may make sense. Only if she's being controlled by Malice. Hellboy Universe is definitely a nine. It's good. In BPRD, oh, even I like some BPRD more than Hellboy. I live in the Bay Area and it takes more than two days to visit. Well, I gotta go there a whole week. Are y'all gonna save up to go to the Dragon Ball Park in Saudi Arabia? Um, it might be a while, but I would love to. Omar, with the news that you talk in your sleep, that you apparently muttered the words long shot gallery edition a few nights ago. Is there any gallery edition news you want to tell us? Nothing official. No. Nor do I talk in my sleep about that, especially. Your Mint should collaborate with Near Mint Mobile. With Mint Mobile and have a Deadpool crossover breaks the fourth and fifth walls. If there's money involved, I'm in. I'm in, baby. I'm reading, I'm reading Hellboy with the Hellboy Right Hand of Doom book club on Discord. Great stuff. Yeah. If you've never read it, man. It's so good. Is there a Marvel Silver Age title that has never been collected in trade format? Uh, we're still, well, we're still waiting for them to finish like things like Fury, Sergeant Fury, and the Howling Commandos. Namor just kicked off, but it's been going a little slow. We've got two epics so far. No volume two. They've been cranking them out. They've done a really good job, whether in omnibus format or in epic collection. And, of course, Marvel Masterworks. Omega the Unknown. But that was also collected in the... And uh, that might be a little more bronze, too. Uh, but that was also collected in trade paperback. Yeah, I can't think of very many series that aren't licensed products that Marvel hasn't done. Meteor Man, or is that? <laughs> I I did not like that movie. Omar so by, far behind on the chat that he just spends the whole time figuring out the context of the comics he's reading. Yeah, I know. I need to give Dom permission to check out the chat. That, that'll be <laughs> for the next time he's here. Two minute warning. What is it? Almost over? That's what I said. How did we get here? Tales of the Watcher, but hasn't that already been collected in some places? Feel like not the whole thing, but some of it, right? Outside of Gotham related titles, are the other future state titles um, worth picking up? The Superman one I thought was good. I like that one. Did you like any yeah, of I think Yang wrote some bits of it, which I did enjoy from what I remember of it, anyways. And then Wonder Woman was drawn by Jen Bartel, and I checked it out just for that. Oh. Uh, Omar says, Bar's my favorite person ever in his sleep, and then he wakes up from the nightmare. Yeah, that would be. That would be weird. What would what would even be the context of that bar? I just got all the Starman. Oh, All-Star Batman. I read that. <laughs> Batman. I got excited. All I just Star got All-Star Batman and Robin discovered an issue was recalled due to visible swear words and were horrendously censored with... Yeah, I remember when that happened. You were still able to see what the word was, though. I remember when that happened. Omar, I have Wolverine, Omnis 2 to 4, Wedding of Cyclops and Phoenix, and the X-Men Legacy epics. Do I need Fatal Attractions epic to fill any gaps 
with that Lobdell, Nisiesa era up, up to Phalanx. Okay, wait. Cyclops and Phoenix, X Men Legacies, uh, Bigs. Uh, wait, y y yes, 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 yes. You don't have the Phalanx uh, OHC. Yeah, you do need it because it's got a couple of issues that are not collected in those Omnis. Having fun conversation with friends makes time fly. It does. I love you guys, and I miss talking to you all, and I look forward to this every week. Hey, Omar, which cover are you getting from the X-Men Extinction Agenda? Oh, my dude. Got to go with the uh, Uncanny X-Men uh, or X-Factor. X-Factor 60. What is that? Endgame was 66. Uh, 69? Is that 69? Yeah, X-Men 69, right? Or X-Factor 69? Is that the X Factor issue with Havoc, Jim Lee on the cover? Mm -hmm. Now, if they had used the original house ad for the uh, direct market, I would be all over that because I love that wanted poster. I love that wanted poster. Omar, do you like the original Sword of Azrael comic? Oh my gosh, do I? Yes. I like it so much that I, I would rebuy the Batman Nightfall Omnibus if they added those four issue miniseries because it's got that. Beautiful artwork by Joe Quesada. I love the designs of Dennis O'Neill's story. And then the uh, Kevin Nolan, I think, does some of the inks there. I cannot decide on the Dazzler Omnibus. Oh, come on. You got to go with the art germ. My goodness, my jaw dropped. Omar, can you explain your placement of your Batman Omni since most of the Hush Omni is before Dini even starts? Because you're looking at them right now? Are you judging me, Clint? You judging me, Clint? Uh, it's because some of it is before it, and some of it is after. But I feel like Hush Returns, which is why I have it there, takes place after the Dini Omnibus too. Um, no, that's before it. Hold on, why do I have it there? There's a reason why I have it there. I think I need to reassess my life. <laughs> I think it, uh, maybe, maybe it should go before it. Maybe you're right. Why do I have it there? You thought Hush Returns came after. <laughs> yeah, but that takes place before the. It the does, that, but I don't. Maybe that your takes brain place just thought that during right. the, the war games and the war crime stuff. Ooh, why do I have it there? Well, Clint, I'm an idiot. That's why. It takes a it takes a real man. To, uh, to admit that. I think I made a mistake and I just kind of put it up and I had a spot for it. Not even going to lie. Thank you for pointing that out. Maybe I did it just to test your knowledge, Clint. Did you ever think about that? I bet you will from now on. Oh, I got to get going. Hi, are there any new Star Wars Legends and Indiana Jones for 2025? Uh, we only have January of 2025 and I will know some of the... Um, some of the other Omnis soon. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button on the way out. Check out CheapGraphicNovels.com. Uh, they're our sponsor here in America. They have books up to 50% off. Tell them near mint condition. Sent you their way and you get free shipping on your next order after your first one. I'm sorry if I did not get to your question. Leave it in the comments if I did. And I promise I do get back to some not all some some of the questions i try i try i'm gonna i'm gonna make dom get to the questions i can't get to that's what i'll do thank you everybody and dom where can people find you buddy when you're not hanging out with me as a co-host well, people can find me uh on my youtube channel and social media at dom of x studio i'm dom of x here on youtube uh, so if you guys uh want to find me or just want to chat i am there uh, I'm also on comicreleases.com. Uh, again, your one-stop shop for every single collected edition up to date and all of the written documentation for solicitations too. So it was cool hanging out here on the Saturday. A very weird Saturday for me, but you know, it, it, it makes it all work just fine. So, And don't forget to come back tomorrow afternoon, evening. Make sure you are on our social media to know exactly what time. Where we're going to look over the entire DC catalog. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Stay healthy and safe. I'll be back tomorrow before I leave because that's the way I roll. Woo!